What is up guys and welcome back to another Manchester United career mode video. Okay, and the first match we've got coming up is the Carabao Cup final against Tottenham. Now let's set up the squad for the match. Looks like Ronaldo's still quite tired. So let's play Rashford on the left flank. And let's play Cavani as a striker. And let's also give the lower rest because he's quite tired. So we'll play Pavar. And let's switch Shaw for Tejas. Okay, let's play like this. Now I'll be turning off the mic during the matches today because my voice is still recovering after catching COVID this weekend. So I hope you guys understand. Let's go to the final. The stage is set here at Wembley. A sea of fans beginning to descend upon the stadium for what ought to be a riveting Carabao Cup final. It's Tottenham Hotspur. They face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester United. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Kane, a wonderful intervention. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Frankie de Jong plays alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And the striker today, Edinson Cavani. Well, there's been considerable emphasis placed on Cristiano Ronaldo coming into today's game. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. We're showing good defensive judgment. Eric Dyer. On the ball, Reguilon. Davinson Sanchez. Emerson. Dejan Kulusevski. Given away by Rabio. Frankie de Jong. They've regained possession. Sancho. Can they take the lead here? Able to get his body in the way. Blocked again. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Rashford Rashford Rabio Kulusevski and on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there and yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. <laughs> Delivered into the box. Oh, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. And good pressure high up the pitch. Rabio. 
Effective looking pass. Crisp tackling. Shaw. Sancho. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Davinson Sanchez. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Pogba. Pavard. Now with De Jong. De Jong. And the pass over hit. Romero. And Hoybier with it. Dejan Kulusevski. Well, the transfer stories appear to be real. There's some substance behind this one, Stuart. Well, no surprise there's been an official bid made. It's probably just a case of whether it's enough now, although I'm not sure it will happen immediately. Baba. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Rabio. Harry Kane. Son. The cross is on. Rashford. Pogba has it. Shaw. Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. De Jong. Pogba! Well, it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. Cavani. Can he convert? Terrific block. United looking to forge ahead. Let's see if the corner helps them. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Substitution for Manchester United coming off the pitch. Number 24, Frankie Dijon coming onto the pitch. Playing it short. Under Bake. And the keeper more than equal to it. from the fifth round of the FA Cup coming up soon on EA TV it's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Brighton well only 16 teams left so that game will be fiercely competitive really looking forward to it showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up Shaw and now Rashford sends it back well offside anyway albeit a tight one and a change for Spurs at this juncture. Harry Kane coming onto the pitch. Number nine, Andre Kovaric. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Number six, Paul Pogba. To be replaced by number 18, Bruno Fernandes. Right here. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. It's going to be United's free kick. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. 
level pegging, but can they change that? Rashford. Shaw. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Dejan Kulusevski. Emerson. And just five minutes remaining. Poibier. Andrei Kramaric. Chance to do damage. And let's give credit to the defending. Shaw. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Dejan Kulusevski. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So, back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? It is to be a throw-in. Shaw. Bruno Fernandes. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Shaw. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Superb block. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Shaw. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Reguilon. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Poibier. It's with Davinson Sanchez. Son. Spurs still on the attack with the minutes ticking away. Can they find a winner? So a throw in here. And taking it away. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And a good-looking ball. And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game. That's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. Playing it in. Well, just couldn't quite control the header and a disappointing effort in the end. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in their future? But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Lovely ball over the top, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time.
Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this. And the keeper taking care of the situation. And he steps up to take his penalty. And there it is. Perfectly executed. And confidently converted. And he steps up to take the shot. In it goes. Superb placement there. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he scores. And it's gone in. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Clinical as always in front of goal. You want a pressure cooker, this is it. He must score. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And the penalty converted here. Job done from the spot. Oh, he saved it! A goal now, and his team will prevail. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget... Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. Okay, so we managed to win our first prize of the season.
It was a close one, but we managed to pull through with penalties. Now let's go to round 5 of the FA Cup against Bournemouth. Our camera lens trained on one man. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. Well, nothing wrong with the weather here at the Vitality Stadium. It's a clear night, ideal for football. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16, just moments away. It's Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. But if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Well, it could be on for him here. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, it's been very hard to escape the Eddington Cavani story ahead of this game. There are many who believe that this will be his final campaign, that he's on the verge of retiring, Stuart. Well, it's a shame if the stories are true, because he still has so much to offer. But his body must be telling him it's had enough. Let's hope he has a great end to his career. Alex Tellez has it. And he saw the situation developing. Lewis Cook. Ben Brereton. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Nunez. It might be. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And he's fired over the corner. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Corner again. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And he did what he had to do defensively. Bruno Fernandes, tremendous challenge. Phillips has it. Lewis Cook, billing with it. Cantwell, and that pass could be troublesome. That's all they can conjure for now. Really good high press. And they need to get tighter. And still try to get the shot off made sure nothing came of that can they hit on the break he's got the right idea with that pass and a goal here just what Manchester United required they are level Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway. One goal apiece here.
Sancho. Excellent vision. And tossing through. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Leibold. Well, Bournemouth have had more of the possession, as you can see, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And the pass could do damage. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Delivering it. Clattered away. Lerma. Committed challenge. So two minutes of... And he might be through here. Jadon Sancho. But nothing comes of it. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Frankie de Jong, Jadon Sancho, Nunez, Sancho, Diogo Dallo, high quality defending, it's a perfect challenge, de Jong, Ronaldo! Oh, he's done it! But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, it's all to play for in the second leg. What a contest it will be with so much riding on it. A place in the final. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Diogo Dallo. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. around personnel wise
So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Number 18, Bruno Fernandes, coming onto the pitch, number 6, Paul Pogba. A real struggle to contain him. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And time for the change now. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Jefferson Lerma. Smith. And Brooks in possession. In position here to protect the ball. Well, I'm sure he heard the footsteps of his opponent. Substitution for Bournemouth. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Diogo Dallo and threading it forward we wondered who was going to win the race the answer the goalkeeper so on the cusp of the final whistle and the visitors very much in command Stuart well they've been much the better side up to now some of their approach play has been excellent they just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display Frankie de Jong. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Fractionally offside. <laughs> Jefferson Lerma. Ben Brereton. Well cleared away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Just not looking confident in possession. Can he play it in? Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Well, he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. Here's a change for Manchester United. He goes short. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of... Sancho! And touched onto the frame of the goal. And danger still. Well, nothing comes of it. Smith. And Lerma. The final whistle, and Manchester United move on. Yes, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. Thought they controlled large parts of the game, they created enough chances, and if they can continue to replicate performances like this, they have to fancy their chances going forward. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back on Friday with the next episode, so hopefully see you then. Bye, guys.